And yes, it is time for challenge number one in Anchor Wars. It's just been a really fun little project to complete. Not that we're mm -hmm. overly competitive, but also there's just cool things in our area to experience. And, and this is a new way of experiencing them, right? We're not competitive at all. No, not at all. So let's uh, begin challenge number one with a closer look at your competitors. And now, the competitors, the anchorman. Jared Willits, age 65, height 6 foot 0, weight 165, hair brown, stylishly cut, eyes dazzling hazel, personality disarmingly charming. Jared's advantages, older, risk taker, very confident. Jared's disadvantages, older, risk taker, very confident. The anchor woman, Laura Hussey, age forever 29, height Five foot one and change. Weight, ask Ben and Jerry. Hair, blonde. Really? Eyes, green. Personality, sweet with an evil side. Laura's advantages, younger, flexible from yoga, female intuition. Laura's disadvantages, no cardio training. A little spacey, lacks killer instinct. Anchor Wars, challenge one, the corn maze begins next. Welcome back. Every Monday for the next four weeks, Jared and I take each other on in challenges of skill, agility, and endurance. This is number one, the corn maze. As the contestants square off, Jared makes his first move. Ready, set, go. He's counting on the advantage of speed as he heads into the maze. It's a full eight acres of twists, turns, traps, and tests. As Laura goes in, the corn towers over her head, but she's not intimidated. I brought a secret weapon. Look, corn chips for a corn maze. So, I just leave a little trail. We'll never get lost. Aha! Jared has made some plans of his own. He'll stop at nothing to win. My secret weapon is, I have my compass. I have my compass to help me through. And, and, okay. Uh, it has been said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. I have my aerial photograph of the maze to guide me. So, let's go. Early on, his plan hits a snag. And I have GPS, but I have no service. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, hang on. While Jared wanders deeper into the corn in the desperate search for a signal, Laura tries something low-tech. Keep your hand on the corn. I read it on Google. It must be true. It's approaching noon in the vast sea of corn, and the elements are becoming a factor. Here's another advantage. I don't get hot very fast. It's stinking hot out here. Jared, he's probably going to pass out. I'm thirsty. And I'm hot. And I'm lost. And I have no way out. I'm not kidding. Dehydrated, disoriented, and deep in the maze, Jared is fighting to keep calm. I'm starting to hallucinate. i got to focus. Focus, Jared. Breathe. Breathe. He doesn't know it's all in vain. Laura has made it through the maze. That's me. That's me. Number one. That's me. It says exit. This is it. This is it. <laughs> and for the anchorman who started out so strong, all that's left is to fight another day. Whenever he gets up off the ground. It's clear that Laura is the winner of Anchor Wars Challenge number one, the corn maze. The competitors. The anchor woman, Laura Hussey, works out four times per week. Training regimen, yoga, zumba, krav maga, walking the dog. Problem areas, hates running, sweating, and hurrying. The anchorman, Jared Willis, works out every once in a while, socially. Training regimen, biking, casually. Walking the dog, slowly. Napping, daily. Problem areas, bad knee, bad back, really. The course, Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office Obstacle Course. Required time, under 8 minutes 30 seconds. SWAT requirement, 
under four minutes, 30 seconds. Course record, just under three minutes. Anchor Wars begins next. Part two. This is how it's supposed to look. A real Santa Rosa deputy drags a 150 pound sled and sprints toward the end of the obstacle course. And if that doesn't make Jared and Laura nervous enough, there's this. You get folks that can uh, throw up, um, you know, they, they get, they faint, they sweat a lot, they fall a lot. The course begins with getting out of the car and fake firing a shotgun. Now the clock is running and the race is on. Jared's got an advantage with his long legs. It makes skating walls a lot quicker and the jump down a lot shorter. Even on a wall with built-in footholds, Lara looks like she's being too careful and it's eating up time. On the ladder, Jared's height and speed get him to the top fast. He rings the bell at the top in short order. Lara's still placing hands and feet very carefully. She makes it to the top but she's clearly lost some time on the climbing test. It's a different story when things get close to the ground. Speed crawling doesn't agree with Jared's beat up knees. He finds the tunnel harder than it looks. While Laura breezes through. After all, she doesn't even have to duck her head. Every obstacle is deceivingly difficult. Climbing through the window, Jared's leg gets stuck and Laura has trouble lifting her lower half off the frame. Things go better as they clear a doorway and simulate shooting a bad guy. Boom, bang, bang. For a moment, just a moment, they look like TV cops. But there are no style points in this race. Now it all comes down to the sled as Jared starts to pull. The metal grinds on the cement track. He keeps his speed up and he's looking strong as he drops the sled and takes off for the finish. Lara knows this is the obstacle that could stop her. She looks determined, but her feet are finding less distance with each step. She's lost a lot of ground by the time she finally runs for the finish. Sergeant Rich Alloy has the official results. For Jared, an impressive time of 5.48. That's not easy. Believe me. And for Laura, a respectable but disappointing 6.25. I feel like I'm going to die. That makes Jared the undisputed winner of Anchor Wars Challenge Number Two, the obstacle course. The competitors. The anchorman, Jared Willits. Advantages, legendary nerves of steel from skydiving. Legendary reflexes from motorcycle riding. Legendary concentration from words with friends. The anchor woman, Laura Hussey. Advantages, Extreme self-confidence from Krav Maga. Extreme balance from yoga. Extreme patience from working with Jared. The challenge, target shooting. Two sets of 10 rounds each. Winner determined by high scores and most bullseyes. Coming up next, challenge three of Anchor War. All right, it's time now for challenge number three. We both well, need this win. That's right. We'll see who takes the lead here. Let's see what happens. After Jared's unexpected win on the obstacle course, Laura wants a playing field where height and speed don't matter. Oak Ridge Gun Range might be that place. This is a sport that women, men don't have an advantage over women. Mm -hmm. It's something women can do equally as well as men are better. Manager Robert Davies has given lessons to both Jared and Laura. Let me ask you this, Robert. Uh, you've seen me shoot, you've seen Laura shoot. If you were a betting man, just go ahead, it's okay, not gonna hurt anyone's feelings. Laura shoots pretty well. Laura shoots pretty well. Now it's off to the lanes. Laura shoots first. She looks like trouble. But when the target's pulled in, her shots are way off. Jared can keep the smile off his face. Not bad shooting, lady. 
In his first round, Jared is focused and determined as he lines up his shots. He's hitting closer to the target and definitely takes the round, but neither competitor is looking impressive. Maybe they just need to loosen up. The one thing they seem to have mastered is shaking it out and bending into the oh-so-classy target shooting stance. She's like a duck. Comic relief over. Round two is on. Jared takes the lane first this time. And he's not happy with his performance. His shots are drifting further from the bullseye. Yeah, what the heck's up with this? I did so much better than the last time. Robert thinks he's fatigued. Teddy is a rock. But yeah, I shoot with this hand. <laughs> Laura's used the extra time to regroup. She's shooting better and even gets a bullseye. Oh my goodness, holy mackerel. Much better. I told you. Let's go. Cool. We'll practice. Yeah, who's, who's the shark today? <laughs> Robert has to declare a winner. Jared has higher overall points, but Laura is the only one who has a bullseye. After lots of number crunching, the match is declared a tie. As Jared and Laura walk into the outdoor activities center at UWF, it's clear they had no idea what they're in for. The rock wall stretches three stories up. It looks like three miles. Today's make or to break it. You know, I've, 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 I've got to win. If I don't win, well, the overall competition goes to Laura. Outdoor adventure coordinator Michael Morgan demonstrates how to scale the wall. Note the fancy foot twists. Up close, the brightly colored handholds and footholds don't look like much to cling to. I am so scared. I mean, I have fear of heights anyway, and we walked in, it was like, <laughs> The contestants are strapped into safety harnesses, so tight it's called a safety wedgie. The ropes are rated for 7,000 pounds with knots and backup knots. Neither contestant is particularly fond of heights, but Michael says Laura, may have an advantage. Men tend to have be used to using the upper body, so they try and pull themselves up more, where in climbing legs are, are predominantly the, the muscle group you want to use more, and women have a tendency to use those more often than men do, because they're not accustomed to having a stronger upper body. So women tend to start out being better than men. Laura climbs first. Surprisingly, she seems comfortable on the wall. I do this at my house all the time to get dishes out of the top cabinets. I climb on the counter. This is not hard. I can do this. It gets harder as she gets higher. She's digging deep to use that leg strength Michael talked about, but she looks like she's actually having fun. By the way, I have a brand new manicure. It is toast. It's a struggle near the top, but with coaching from the team on the ground, she makes her way up to ring the bell. <laughs> Time, approximately five minutes. Now, uh, how, how, how do senior citizens fare well on this? Um, I mean, I got my Medicare card just the other day. Yeah, well, you signed the liability, so uh, we'll it see how it matter. goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good then. Jared hits the wall and starts out strong. He's all focus and determination, but about halfway through, he's struggling to find grips for hands and feet. Shoot. His effort is a thousand percent, but the frustration is taking hold. He's almost three stories high. His legs are tiring fast, and his hands are losing their strength. Whoop! Whoop! <sighs> Okay. Now the wall has gotten inside his head. You can see the strain in his body as he fights to keep climbing, but the unyielding rock is without mercy, and finally he lets go. That's it. I'm out of strength. Back on the ground, Jared shows sportsmanship and good humor, even flexing for the cameras. But the wall has spoken. Laura is the undisputed champion of Anchor Wars.